Okay. So that was not the biggest story of the week. The biggest story of the week is coming up right now. So just 48 hours ago, um, I was in a space on Twitter. And by the way, that is my Twitter name um, on the bottom left-hand corner. If you want to go follow me, I'm always talking about movies or in spaces about movies. Feel free to do that. So I was in a space with uh, the raps, Scott Mendelson and Jeremy Fowser. And his colleague broke some huge, huge news. James Gunn is going to be directing Superman Legacy. And uh, it definitely didn't break the internet, but definitely had a lot of people talking. <laughs> and um, so this is what, he, so from his colleague's name is Umberto Gonzalez, and cr- congratulations to him for breaking this story. Um, so, and the piece says this. Kicking off their multi-platform connection, connected DC Universe, Chapter 1, Gods and Monsters, DC co-chairman and CEO James Gunn and Peter Safran said Wednesday that Gunn will be directing the hugely anticipated Superman legacy with Safran producing. Gunn will direct his screenplay based on characters from DC. Superman was created by Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster. The all-new action-adventure is set to soar into theaters worldwide on July 11, 2025. This was a, a tweet that he wrote. He said, yes, I'm directing Superman Legacy to be released on July 11, 2025. My brother Matt told me when he saw the news, the release date, he started to cry. And I asked him, dude, what? He, I asked him why. He's like, dude, it's dad's birthday. He said, I hadn't realized. Gunn wrote on Twitter. Gunn added, just because I write something doesn't mean I feel it in my bones, visually and emotionally, enough to spread it over two years, directing it, directing it, especially not something of this magnitude. But the long and short of it is this. I love this script, and I'm incre- incredibly excited as we begin this journey. Hashtag up, up, and away. Superman Legacy tells the story of Superman's journey to reconcile his Kryptonian her- heritage with his human upbringing as Clark Kent as, of Smallville, Kansas. He is the embodiment of truth, justice in the American way, guided by human kindness in a world that seems ki- kindness is old-fashioned. Su- Superman Legacy is a trailblazing first title and a dynamic slate of uh, films with writers Matt Reeves, The Batman 2 hitting theaters on, on October 3rd, 2025. Saffron's most recent film, New Line Cinema Shazam, Fury of the Gods, is in theaters now. Okay, let's talk about this. And I would actually, to be frank, I was considering doing a whole video about this, but because there's so many questions. And by the way, we're not even talking. He's got a little movie coming out in, I don't know, a few months called Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Okay. So it's an interesting time to drop the news. Um, as Scott Mendelson so eloquently said in the space the other day, um, because everybody, all of the talk is going to be on um, Superman. So, but getting back to the, getting back to the uh, Superman talk, this is huge, and there's a lot of questions swirling around this, um, a lot. So I'm going to run through a couple of them, and and we'll talk about them. Number one, the the big sixty four thousand dollar question. Is who are they going to get to play Superman? So if you notice the subtitle, Legacy, that tells me that there are going to be multiple films. Okay, this isn't just a one-off. This is There are going to be multiple films here. So they're going to have to pick an actor that is young enough to play the role and yet age into the character. Okay. Somebody, my guess is anywhere between their 20s or 30s. And the fan casting is going on now as we speak on Twitter and Instagram. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> okay, I'm even part of it. Um, and I know I shouldn't because I never like to put X actor into Y role because it's not about the actor. It's about the story, right? So 
that is the question that is on everybody's mind. Who are they going to get to play Superman? Okay. The second thing is, okay, who are they going to get to play Lois Lane? And how are they, how is she going to fit into this whole Rubik's Cube, if you will, this whole puzzle of what it's going to be? Um, number three, and I, you know, I will say one thing. I'm not a Zack Snyder fan, but I do think Man of Steel, it was good. And it really addressed, it was only about 10 or 15 minutes, maybe 20 at most, but it addressed the whole origin. Do they address, do they address, because it says in the piece that they are going to address his Kryptonian heritage. My guess is, and this is purely speculation, that they're going to do it through flashbacks. What I suspect what they're going to do is have him be at the Daily, already put at the Daily, Daily Planet, okay? You're going to meet Lois Lane. And then through flashbacks, you're going to see him come up as a kid. Now, obviously, he, uh, in Man of Steel, he left as a baby. So it depends on when they have him leave, okay? Um, depending on when the, the planet gets destroyed and everything else. So that's the two big questions. Who's going to play Superman and who's going to play Lois Lane? Now, there's a third, door number three here, okay? And that is... Who is the villain going to be? Now, there is some speculation that this could be based on All-Star Superman. Now, I'm not a comics guy, so I'm not really too privy about all of this. But my guess is, if I had to guess, they're not going to want Lex Luthor. Okay. Um, I could be wrong. There are a lot of... I'll equate it to you like this. It's like getting, It's like doing Batman and putting the Joker in there. That is that is the one arch nemesis, if you will. I think they want to wait. Okay. Um, so I really believe it will be interesting to see who the villain is. Whoever the villain is, it, it's going to play a major factor in how it's done. Um, and yeah, th those are the three questions, you know. Um, but this is huge news. And the fact that it's coming out, you know, so once again, in the piece, it talks about, you know, justice and everything else. If you look at the release date, not only is it coming out on his father's birthday, but it's coming out a week after the July 4th. Like the most American, you know, that, that's when America cel celebrates their independence. So it's going to be fascinating to see what goes up head to head or what is going to be. Because don't forget, Mission Impossible's, Mission Impossible is going to be done by then. Okay, you've got Dead Reckoning coming up now. Then you're going to have the second one in 2024. Okay, it'll be very interesting to see what is slated in that time for Superman. I think that um, it's one of those things where, and, you know, this will get him out of the buddy film, if you will. This will get him out of that role of, I can only do movies like The Suicide Squad and Guardians of the Galaxy. This will totally change everything because this is character driven. Not to say that th th those aren't, but it's going to be a different kind of thing. Um, I can't wait for this. Am I jacked as, as much as, you know, for the Gladiator? Probably not. But I'm really, really excited for this. So I got to ask guys, what do you guys think? Who would you get to play Superman? Who would you get to play Lois Lane? And who would be your villain? So those are the three questions I want in your comments. Who would you get to play Superman? Who would you get to play Lois Lane? And who would be your villain? Um, And, you know, tell me what you think. Are you going to go see Superman Legacy? What would the story be if you could write it or direct it? Leave all your thoughts down in the comments and I'll get back to everybody.